Welcome back to BNN Channel 9 News. I'm Jeremiah. And I'm Ariel, and it's Tuesday, March 14th. Now for news. This year's AP research students visited with members of the Lebanon Chamber of Commerce. They discussed the AP Capstone program and their individual research projects. Before spring break, Mount Joe High MC JROTC cadets volunteered to take the Special Olympics Polar Plunge in order to raise money for the program. Many of the cadets also volunteered to set up, manage, and tear down the event held at Nissan Stadium. Fundraising for the Music City Polar Plunge helps provide sports training and competition for the Special Olympics Tennessee athletes. Juniors, we will begin this week preparing for the upcoming ACT. Be ready for activities in your focus classes to get your mind focusing on the test. On Tuesday, March 21st, which is Junior ACT Day, all students will have planned activities. Seniors, you will be job shadowing and will not report to campus on that. <laughs> you will not report to campus on that day. Juniors, you will be taking the ACT beginning promptly at 8.45. Be sure to come with a charge Chromebook and your charger and a parent note to leave following the test. Sophomores, you will be taking a practice ACT on paper. Please be sure to bring number two pencils. Freshmen, you will be taking a modified ACT practice test on your computer. Be sure to bring it charged and bring your charger. Recently, seniors voted for superlatives and we had a little help while making it official. Here's Jackson Farley with more. Senior superlatives are always an important time in a student's life in high school. This year, however, Tammy Smith from the Wilson County Election Commission came by to help create a more authentic voting experience. This is an actual ballot, so we built the ballot in the office. Um, it's just like they would go and vote in a federal or a local election on the machines where they mark their ballot and then they would put it through a tabulator. So it's, a, it's just like using the real equipment. So when they turn 18, I'm hoping that they are not intimidated by voting and will continue to vote. That's the idea. The kids are excited. They're, they are happy to be voting on real equipment. Um, so, you know, they're excited about it. The meat of elections really is preparing. So once election starts, any election that we have, we have done a lot of preparation ahead of time, testing to make sure that it's going to be tabulate correctly, names are spelled correctly, the ballot's correct. All of that is done ahead of time and it's kind of the same thing with school elections. We, we test it just like we would a real election. Um, so when we come to do the election, it's very simple to actually use because they're going to mark their ballot, look at it on a piece of paper and put it through the tabulator. We'll close down the machine and then we will be able to tell what the results are. So we did have some students ask some questions like that. They came through and wanted to know who's winning and we get that in real life. So early voting, every election, someone will call me and say, hey Tammy, who's winning? I don't know. So uh, we do not know who's winning an election until election night. So that is one of the misnomers about elections and people don't really understand that we don't know those things. And so we, there's a lot of rules in place that we can't download machines until election night. Seniors are on the edge of their seat to find out the results of the senior superlatives, and they'll find that out later in the semester on May 5th during the Golden Bear Awards. PTSO is extending the Mel Brown Bear Pride Scholarship Program this year for seniors. This scholarship is funded through their Bear Pride shirt sales. The pre-order sales have been extended to March 17th. All proceeds from these shirts go directly to fund the scholarship program. HOSA is collecting items to make Easter baskets for local nursing homes and food banks. They are in need of items such as baskets, eggs, coloring books, crayons, and more. Please see Mrs. Watson in C136 for more details. March Book Madness has started at the library. This is a tournament where MJHS will choose their favorite books. Students and faculty are encouraged to participate in the bracket, ch bracket challenge and vote for their favorites. More info is on the library website or on the library Instagram account at mjhs.library. Thank you for watching BNN Channel 9 News. I'm Jeremiah. And I'm Ariel, and we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, Have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday, Tuesday MJ. MJ. Oh, yeah, that was it. That was it. That was it. That was it. Ooh.